I bro, I bro. I bro. Wasn't that just Something that I'm very, I guess, I don't know if I'm known for this, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? I'm here for it. I'm, t I'm a Texan, so I guess, you know, it's by nature. You said what? Not today. The one, the only, literally the only, because, you know, it's only one person that I know with this name, if I'm going to be honest. Casual Z. Yeah, what you got going on? That's the you know what I'm saying? That's it, that's I'm just, you know, I mean, we need to do a, an anime most ignorant crash out character tier list, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? We on Twitch, you know what I mean? Twitch.tv for slash beautiful Nick. Uh, Twitch.tv for slash uh, casual Z. You know what I mean? If you want to go follow us respectfully, also, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yep, type shit. And also, his, you know, his links will also be in the description down below, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Go check him out, you know what I'm saying? He also has a. A video out, you know what I'm saying? We did a, you know, uh, a music. I don't know, but I don't know when this is gonna come out. But by the time he should have like a music tier list opening and and the MC tier list shit. I'm gonna be honest, like I hold on both of those. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I it is what it is. I had to say my shit, but you know what I'm saying? It's still still an enjoyable video. Go watch it. Leave a like and all that thing. I'm Subscribe. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What? This ain't this ain't the time for that. This ain't the time for that. Yeah, I got time, guys. My nigga, hold up. I can try and get like this. Let's fool me. I can get hold like this. Hold up. Hold up. Does hold the ass open one get hold like that more? I feel like you had that on your chest for a while. I ain't gonna lie to you. But look. <laughs> <laughs> Stand. You've never allowed anyone to help you before in your life. Why start now? Why poverty? Because I wanted him to reawaken the evil in my heart. I wanted him to return me to the way I was before! Did it again. Did it again. Okay, our first one. Hoban Yo versus Fabuki. More than I do, and I uh, about Fabuki, and I know a little bit more than you about Hoban. So I think this is gonna be like a stalemate. But it, just for the sake of ignorance, man, just look at that man. He don't want to. He don't really want to be here. He's like, why the fuck? Ignorant character, bro. Why, why, why am I here? See, I but that's the main character's list. What you got me doing here, bro? I want to be here. Look at him. That's crazy. He's looking at you right now, staring at your soul. Why wait, you wait, 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 And I and look and I and I and I say the reason why I had to pick you because not only is this about ignorance, this also about crashing out. And he has one of the I'm gonna be honest of anime season 2024. He has no, one of the most person. craziest crash out moments. And I'm not going to lie. I think that's enough for me to, to vote for him, in my opinion. I know I sound like I'm dick riding Hoban right now, but this man. Heavily. I am. Hey, but like, bro, this thing, he crashed. I didn't put him on the list for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I put him on the list for no reason. I don't know. I don't know who. I really just don't know. 
I'm trying to think of it, if it if I pick either one, is it gonna really make a big of a difference towards the end? That's the real. That's the. That's what it's really coming down to. Like, which one has a more how fighting chance? Because how? No, nah, serious question. And bear with me now. How much are you ready to ride for either one of them? That's and I'm glad you asked. Not that much. Because honestly, in all honesty, depending on the matchup. I'm ready to ride the fuck for, for, for Buki. You think he has a high, a better chance of uh against I, I don't know too much about Hoban, but for me, okay. I can make a case for Fubuki. Because to me, I when I see Fubuki, especially at the earlier bits of the story, I just see I literally just see like prime ignorance Bakugo. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know what? Just for that, I'll agree with you. Oh, say. it's getting ignorant now. We got Alucardu. Versus Naraku. Now. <sighs> I can only pick one because I haven't seen one. Wait, which one? I just want to know. I haven't seen Helsing. That's understandable. But you know about Naraku, though. I know too much about <laughs> I know he's got a top 10 crash out moment as much as, as much as one character that hasn't appeared yet. And it's a main reason why his stock goes down as like a great character. That's understandable. But I know what's exactly. If you just moment. look at it for itself, yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them are screaming demonic, you know, energy, like mm -hmm. ignorant energy, like crash out energy. Alucard is a full one hundred percent crash out for sure. I'm not even like, there's no denying that. Honestly, he is also very ignorant, if I'm going to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. Compared to Naraku, I'm going to be honest. I think Alucard got, is probably more of a crash out than Naraku, in my opinion. Just based on yeah. what, what I've seen from both series. And um, I could have, and honestly, I probably could have replaced Naraku with Shishomaru. By a little, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, nah, 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 nah. Cause Shomaru is not a, Shomaru is not a crash out. But he he got little yeah. ignorance. He got little ignorance. That's why I have to put him. Yeah, that's why. But I don't think I. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at Alucard. Yeah, but I can't replace anybody at all in Helsing for Alucard because you know. I think. He kind of is like. Is he like an anti-hero? I don't know what he is. He's just ignorant. Just look at his smile. <laughs> yeah, I know what he is. He's just ignorant. He's <laughs> he, just ignorant. He, he just, does look like he's ready to hold somebody. Like, bro, look at him. He just looks like he's ready to hold a nigga, bro, for no reason. Yeah. That ass. But so does Naraku, though. I'm not gonna lie. That nigga do be holding niggas crazy. Literally. That nigga's just vile. He is. He, he is. Now, I... <sighs> I really wish you watched Helsing because this would have been. <sighs> I don't I don't know who I would rather choose between the two. Cause I feel like I feel like both of them could probably arguably get to the top twenty round. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Dep depending on placement though. Depending on how the bracket goes. Because yeah. a lot of people gotta buy, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't think some of them don't deserve that buy. So, so I'm going to be honest, I think Naraku might have to be the first one that we might have to be like, okay, might have to substitute for... There's a lot of niggas that got buys, though. Yeah, and I'm not, and I'm not going to lie, I don't feel like some of them will make it to the, to the next round. I want to pick Alucard, yeah. though, because that man really is just... Just look at him. Like, even just, this, this, yeah. this is just a regular picture. This not even, this, I even have to go, like, literally when you search up this man, this is the first picture that you, that you find, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to, I had to go down a couple rows for Naraku. I'm not gonna lie. I had to. I had to. This one is yeah. literally the first one. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, I gotta pick Alucard, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna lie. I go. Oh, oh, shit. No, oh, this is so bad. This is so annoying because I haven't got into this, his arc yet. Wait, wait. Oh Are you talking God. about uh, Shishiro? Yes. Oh. But no. I've heard stories about him. But I've heard dumb stories about him. I just haven't got to his arc yet. I'm just trying. I'm just waiting to get there. But I just haven't got there yet. Damn it! So I can't oh, really. I can't. Man. I 
can't go into depth then, huh? Oh man. I'm gonna be honest. That's so annoying. This is actually no, this is actually annoying because both of these niggas should this should be like this is a round ten like matchup. Yeah. This is not even fair. So I'm gonna be honest. Both of them are gonna I'm gonna consider both of these a buy. I, we're gonna replace somebody. Cause this is not even fair. This ain't even fair. Yeah. I don't even want to even go to this one yet because I feel like this is a round 10 matchup, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Because both of them, I'm gonna be honest, both of them are damn near the same nigga. I'm gonna be honest. Both file. From what I've heard, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm just being, yeah. They're damn near the same character, honestly. I mean, they're both, yeah. they're both swordsmen. Both, you know, crash outs. Both also mm -hmm. ignorance. Question. Yes. Is she sure, nigga? This is just difficult. I feel like either way it's gonna be controversial. This this shit's pissing me off. This shit's Talk to me about Yuji. Talk to me. Because I'm I'm not gonna lie. Just like Fubiki, I'm ready to ride for Onosuke. I remember how much of a hoe ass he is. He is indeed ignorance. He is indeed crash out. If you seen Tamadachi game and the amount of wholeness that happens in that game and what he is capable of, and that's just the anime. I heard in the manga, he's even way worse. I haven't even read the manga. He's even way worse. And he was holding niggas left and right. He was holding them left right and center i want to go with him i'm gonna be on it and i know that sounds crazy because i know i be dick riding and no skate because at all this and need to niggas all this and need to niggas that begin on niggas dick sayings and need to see this and you see that in no skate we all know in no is the better character i don't give a damn what anybody says he is literally the best character because he's a crash out and he's ignorant he not no little bitch. He ain't no pussy. He's a real nigga. Oh. When it counts. Oh. He don't need to be asleep in order to fight a nigga. He not afraid to go into danger. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry because this nigga don't get the respect that he don't he deserve. Because niggas just think he's just this overly exerted boorish man but he is one of the realest niggas in the show i'm gonna be honest if i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it a buck he put his he put himself in in danger when nobody else did he was he was he was the first one to snap tanjiro out of his mind when we lost rengoku who was the one who gave the gave the nigga the pep top he did what was the need to do it he was crying he was cowardly he was crying he was on go. This nigga in those games always on go. You have never seen this man cry. Oh, that's not that. Okay, that's not true. You have seen, but it was tears of joy. All right. With that being said, though, I need Z to pick. <clears throat> my pick is in those games. And but my question is, if you reach you though, yes, is it? Is it ignorance and crash out or is it manipulative? He's smart. He's controlling everybody and he's just holding people. But that's the difference. That's the difference from being ignorant and being a crash out. Like if he's manipulating people, he's holding people, like he's like outsmarting them and all of that shit. That's different from being an ignorant crash out. Be fair, if we're going to be honest, if you hoeing niggas, that's pretty ignorant. Am I, am I wrong? There's no logical reason. He just hold niggas just to hoe. Just because he wants to. Oh, he, did, he doing it just to hoe? I yeah. feel like, cause, like it was a survival game. It is, but like at the same time, I mean, there was things did. that he did that he literally didn't have to do. He did it just because. Oh, damn. Okay. Fair. Yeah, like literally. Like he literally, I think there was okay, like, and Nah, I don't, like, he, he literally was hoeing niggas just for no reason. He is, that is that just being a whole ass nigga though? Or is, uh, isn't that just being a whole ass nigga? That, that doesn't have to. You got it. Okay, but you you have to be a little ignorant to be uh, to hold niggas. 
Am I wrong? That's the thing though, like, do you have, like, how high does your ignorance level have to be? You know what I'm saying? Compared, like, how high, is, okay, answer this. Is it, how high is, is ignorance, purely ignorance level, compared to in those cases? Who would you say has arguably just, just ignorance, who has higher ignorance level? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Yuichi, if I'm gonna be honest. Because it's just like it's like only ignorant. Yes, because okay, just hear me out, right? If I'm gonna be honest, if we were to simplify this, right? And Nosuke's character is the character where he's just basically the 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 brains, the bron- the bronze nigga, right? You know what I'm saying? He's the he's the he's the bronze nigga. He don't really think. He just goes in head first, like you know what I'm saying. And it, that's ignorant in itself. But like that's really just more based off of him, like actually just being like the literal term ignorant. Like he's literally just oblivious to his to his uh, uh, surroundings this that and the third uh crash out just by that definition but if we talk about if we include the hood nigga version of ignorance which is including hoeing niggas spiting niggas just because despite niggas you have no other reason no alter ulterior motives to hoe a nigga just to hoe him by the definition by that definition like that's i feel like he has that crown because he was doing shit that he literally had no reason to do he was doing it just because he he was bored that's what it was like it, it was bored niggas was bored he was he, he was you know what i'm saying like he crashing out for no reason he was honestly he was fake crashing out which is worse than actually crashing out just to crash like he was crashing out he was fake crashing out bro like how more that's if if anything that explains the ignorance and the crash out because he's still crashing out but now he's crashing out just be just to just to fake crash out he was literally fake crashing out on niggas bro and he was selling them niggas too nigga if you have that's a next level crash out if you crashing out if you have it and making it believable just despite niggas like he was spite he was doing shit out of spite of niggas like he had no reason to do the shit that he did literally but you know what that sounds like that what? sounds like you know when you're about to get you know when you're about to get jumped in the hood yeah and then you, you got act crazy you got you got act fake crazy just so you can get out of the situation type shit but he it, 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 it doesn't scream it wasn't but there know, was it just seems like small okay but i get that but like that he didn't do that for that reason that wasn't the reason he wasn't trying to get he wasn't threatened at all like his life was not in danger at all whatsoever he literally he literally he literally knew that nobody can touch this like he's like the, like nobody's touching him like he knows that that's how confident he is that's how ignorant he is because he nobody can touch this man he had to eat his ego his he has an ego and i feel like ego with equals ignorance in the in the in the fact that like if you feel like a nigga can't touch you and, you and you're so confident in the point like you don't care like you're just doing shit because you're bored i feel like that's pretty ignorant in my opinion maybe i'm wrong i agree i i'm just saying like he would like i could understand right if he was doing it just to survive this ain't i know it's a survival game this nigga don't care about surviving he don't Damn. He like that yes that's what i'm saying he like he don't care he never cared about surviving he never cared he's just doing it just because oh, lying, that's what oh, i'm he saying he's and my thing is like this right because we can have that argument for doflamingo because doflamingo also be crashing out sometimes where he don't need to crash out are we going to hold that against him as well is he not is he not ignorant good yes point. or no yes or no good point good that's what point. Good point. that's good what point. i'm saying like he's like it's it, it's like it's another level of ignorance. And just look at his smile. I hold it. I hold a no escape because. <laughs> but look at that pose. Doesn't that just rake ignorance? Look at no escape. Like who poses like that, bro? Look at bro. Who the fuck does that sort of yoga stretch just for shits and gigs, just to be like, oh, how are you doing today? <laughs> how I'm are gonna... you doing up there? Type shit. I'm look gonna... at my balls. Like what the f- like my nigga like I don't, I don't know like oh this look but that I, feel, I don't know what more this I feel like this is just like if I had to compare anybody to Inosuke he's literally Demon Slayer's Ed from Ed and Eddie Ed who Ed from Ed oh. and Eddie is he not uh, no he's not really he's not no he's got more brains than that. 
Okay, but Ed's smart. Don't do that. I know he act. Ed, he acts dumb, but he is smart. That's what I'm saying. Like he's like. It doesn't act though. Okay, don't do that. Cause that man, that man, that man literally, that man literally wrote. That man literally saying or not saying. He literally quoted the whole entire uh, equation. Oh no, no, the whole the whole thing of pi, whatever the the equation, whatever, bro. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Hey, that, you don't have to be smart to do that. This nigga is not smart. So you gonna He's not smart. So you so you can list out past like thirty decimals of pi. I never said I was smart either. So, but my that's argument just memorization. Is that's just memory. That's just memorization. That's just be. That's being. That's be, That's just being able to memorize something. If you found something that you like, and you just memorize, and you just memorize that shit, you'd be like, okay, okay. Then I'm. I already you know like how he like job but job breakers. He like, he, like, he like the number pi, and so he just remembered that shit. How is Ed from Ed and an Eddie? How is that memorization when he can't even remember that he ate his own bed? I he he picks and cheese what? No, he no, no see now you're no, no, see you're bullshitting. You're bullshitting. Come on, bro. That's that, I mean, that's bro, a, like he doesn't care about his bed. He likes pie, so that he like one of his favorite foods other than jawbreak is his pie. You remember that whole episode about when they were making pies that blew up and shit? Bro, I'm not shit talking about pie. that pie, that nigga. I'm I'm talking about the equation. I know you was, bro. I, that's what I'm saying, bro. He likes the whole thing about pie. That's how much he likes it. So, okay. Pie is a number. Oh, shit. That, this stuff, I'll fuck with it. We play one, four, two, 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 all that bullshit. So, you telling me, really? a, you telling me a nigga that, that literally puts gravy on toast, that also can, that, that also is damn near, like, <laughs> has it, has the, can write out, write out math equations. And, and physics equations, you're telling me that like that's like that's just memorization. That's just. I mean, yo, I, I'm, I'm, I'll say this: you're not about to tell me a nigga that eats his bed, his damn bed is smart. That's that. That's damn what I'm not about to do. You're not about to tell me a nigga that eats his damn bed that puts gravy on toast, <laughs> that eats exploding pies. That likes to run into walls for fun, <laughs> but he sees the door that's right two steps away from him. Okay. For fun. You're not about to tell me a nigga like that is fun. Okay, but like at the same time, you t but a nigga memorizing multiple decimal points of an equation that most niggas in this world can't do. You telling me that that's just based so solely on memorization? There's no smartness yeah. about that. This man was doing trigonometry in his head. He literally explained the fath the, the pocket dimension. Like, what are we like? How is that that smart? Sometimes you gotta be a little bit dumb to be smart. Let's be. Real. I think he just likes it. Let me do another example. Is Kanye is Kanye smart? Let's be real. <laughs> As he's not being ignorant just to be ignorant. Like his he's like the textbook definition of ignorant, but he's not like a. He's not like the he's not like really like nigga version of ignorant, if that makes sense. Nigga, what are we discussing then? The nigga version of ignorance. Oh my Thank you, Ishii. But and and quickly. Y'all niggas better stop telling me to watch the goddamn show like I'm about to watch it in the next thank five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. I hate when niggas do that, bro. Have you watched the anime? Have you watched you have you finished it? Like, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, stop, bro. We not, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop trying to downplay our intelligence on shit, bro. I hate when niggas do that, bro. But I'ma pick a no skate though. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, what the <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You did it just deal with that just to make a no skate. Cause I'm ignorant. Cause I'm oh shit. Oh my god, I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> Damn, hold. Is it not Frieza? I would say Frieza, but I'm not gonna lie. Who's Diva? Diva's from Blood Plus, the show that you don't like the opening for because you thought it was boring. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, she has literally one of the most diabolical things. That's crazy. It's true though, but she literally has one of the most diabolical, ignorant, crash out moments in my opinion of anime history in my opinion and the reason why i put that on there is because she did something that i i don't think anybody on this list has done and it's worse than you killing can say it. i don't care about it. Blah, blah, blah. actually i don't think i can say it because it might be tos you can you can you can describe around it you can use like for example 
Okay. So. Diddy parties. It's a room. I don't know. I don't. Okay. Blow the plan out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Just so niggas won't be on my head for dick riding for a character. Uh, I'm going to pick Frieza, but I'm gonna be honest, Diva hey. definitely deserves to if like she's she deserves to be top five in my opinion. This shit. But Frieza, you got that, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I already kinda saw that coming. And I'm out of here. Ooh. How do we feel about Garo? Hey, 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 hey. hey, he I is a crash out. Garo. He's definitely a crash out, but I don't know if I can consider him ignorant. Because he doesn't do do it, he doesn't just do shit just for doing shit. See, he's got like a whole philosophy that he's abided by. Sure. Right? And then that's what he's got. That's what he's like part, um, working towards. That's why he does the shit that he does. Like, he just doesn't fuck with the hero system, the heroes and all that bullshit. And that's why he does what he does. And then in the manga, eventually, that's what he does. That yeah. shit, but. Ascalad. I still I had to put him on. He a whole ass nigga. He is a whole ass He's... nigga. Now, if we're going nigga person of what, if by definition of ignorant, Ascalad is ignorant. Yeah. Like, yeah. So he be a whole niggas for for no reason, really, just because shit, yeah, my nigga, it gotta happen. Okay. And I'm gonna okay, be like, it doesn't really, but it's got okay. Yeah. I think he's actually really a good character, and I know I got flack for that because when the first when the first came out, I actually genuinely hated this nigga Askeladd. I really did, really? but I I did. I think Askeladd is a very good character because the indication like he did his job, he did his job. He made he made you want to hate him, like he did not care. He made he did his job because I did not like this man. I really didn't think he was a good character because I think he was just a whole ass nigga. Fuck this nigga, this, that, and the third. But then after really sitting on it, especially after watching uh, the second part or season two of 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 uh, Vinland Saga, I ha I can't even sit up here and lie and act like he's not a good character. I just can't. Yeah. I can't. Especially yeah, what he what he especially what he did to a certain king. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to spoil, but you know. <laughs> he was yeah. a real nigga for that. I ain't gonna lie. And I feel like he had a mission. Was, He's the most ignorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cra he had crash out moments, but his ignorance level, he just didn't care. He literally, he literally, he literally like, I don't know, man. He just, he's a good character. I'm gonna be honest. What you going for? Yeah, right there. Who you going for? I'm gonna ask that. Yeah, I, I figured. Yeah, ask a lot. I think Gar was a good character too, but like, yeah, after saying it, the, the remembering like the shit that he does, like, he does have a. I feel like his person, per, like he's. I feel like Garo is just more misunderstood, and I think he's trying to be understood. Where Askeladd is like, he doesn't care if you understand him or not. He gonna still do what he gonna do. Is that a fair assumption? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah, that's what. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah, that man. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> no, we're not doing that. All right, I'm picking Mahito. Let's. let's... Oh my god, bro. I think I I think I know who I know you're gonna pick. I know who I know who you're gonna pick. But I gotta defend this nigga. I'm I, the thing up. is I'm at a stage where I don't know much about you I understand. I, you probably thought I was gonna pick Ryuga, wasn't you? I thought you were. Because of Beyblade. Yeah, because of Beyblade, actually. But I, I I didn't really watch um that um, that Beyblade series, the, drag, the Pegasus one. I didn't really watch it like that. Oh. And that he, Millennium Eld, he's from... What's that Man. anime called again? D D yeah, D-Grey Man. Yeah. I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, and I didn't finish watching it, but I know he's a whole ass nigga. Okay. So you know, so you know. I mean, I'm gonna just be honest. This even at the beginning, like that was some of the hoest, hoest shit. Like that's just some bitch ass nigga shit. I'm gonna be honest. He is a bitch ass nigga. It's great. He is literally a bitch ass nigga. I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, like literally looking at him right now. I did. Nah, let's. But I'm gonna be honest. 
Ryuga is a crash out. He is a crash out. He's for sure a crash out. I really, but I really feel like this is like, because just like you, I vaguely watched this Beyblade. Like, I think, because I think this is Metal Fusion, right? I watched maybe like, yeah. I watched a couple of this. I think he really got his, and I'm not saying that he put him on, but I feel like the CJ video really like amplified his ignorance for me, but I haven't really watched the series to enfold his ignorance. I know Millennium Earl because I love the Gray Man, and this is a classic anime series, and the fact that this nigga is literally a whole ass nigga to the T. I don't know who I want to pick yeah. here. I'm going to be honest. I, me personally, I probably go Millennium Earl. I don't understand if you want to hear You're good. Because I also have to think about this. They both have bodies. Millennium Earl literally has more bodies than Ry Ryuga. But Ryuga is a, is a kid, though. But I don't think that really makes a difference, does it? No. Yeah, so is Kimbachi. Yeah. I feel like we're honing Ryuga, though. Because I feel like he has an argument to make it up there. Like, I think he does. Oh, he does. Because he is ignorant. Like, he literally, he literally, he literally, he literally was just Beyblade niggas just for no reason because he was that strong. He destroyed a whole building. He destroyed, he, he literally destroyed every nigga that, that he trained with. He did not care about their existence. He was just a whole ass nigga. He was an ignorant ass nigga. He do be crashing out. I feel like, I feel like once again, it's like, a, I feel like it's a series that I can't really justify because not a lot of niggas know this series you, you feel what i'm saying yeah well not that they don't know but it's I not mean, it's not like it's not well known like his his ignorance is not well known is what i'm saying yeah compared to ryuga this list wouldn't be genuine then or this tournament wouldn't be genuine yeah i mean is it genuine when i don't know <laughs> it's looking like i don't know half the cost that's true Mind you, he didn't like I. I this ninety nine percent of all these people I put on just based on. Uh, okay, I I will say I put a, I, there's a little bias in this because I did put characters that I feel like deserve to be on here, whether if they were well known or not in my opinion. Because I know what kind of host shit they did. I know what kind of ignorant shit they did. I'm I'm not don't put this on this man. I'm just saying like you know what I'm saying like this you know what I mean type shit. Because he's seen series that I've. Nigga, fuck your favorite series, nigga. He a bitch. Damn. Oh, Annie. Shit, off of that, then we're anyway. going off ignorance. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Shit, I'm, I'm picking it Millennium early. Then. Fuck it, bitch. Next one, I'm gonna be honest. This is cut and dry. It's Kid Boo. Yeah, but yeah, I'm about, I'm about to say. Yeah, it's Kid Boo, but like Joker, definitely Joker. He a hoe ass nigga. He's a hoe yeah, ass nigga. I don't, I'm not too far in Fire Force. I'm literally on episode 15. So I don't know how far he goes becomes a, a, a whole at the start from his first appearance. You know, oh, that nigga. Uh, I'm bro, a this nigga. This nigga went to a fucking heaven to like, pack up this nigga. Bro. They, 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 oh my, this nigga probably the number one seed. I'm not gonna lie to you. He is. is he one. is the number one seed in my opinion. Niggas may say otherwise, but bro. he is the number one. Like he's literally the embodiment of the list. Like he's the reason why this list even started. So like, yeah. like I'm gonna be well. Honestly, if we're gonna be honest, he is the thumbnail. Fam. He will most likely be in the thumbnail. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, that's come on, bro. That's not even fair. <sighs> they take some and they give it away. Honestly, I love her. I love the second time, but I'm going Anos. Really. Yeah, because I'm just seeing it like this. Because the argument is an ignorant crash out character. Uh, um, Aaron definitely has some great fucking crash out moments. But on the flip side, this nigga Anos is literally just ignorant. This nigga walks. To, this nigga walks everywhere he goes. Like he don't give a fuck about nobody. Like he the shit. Like and no, nobody can touch him. Everything and rightfully so. So this nigga literally ignorant about everything around him, bro. If need be, this thing is ready to crash out on and blow up <laughs> half the fucking half the fucking um, school or whatever <laughs> or whatever battle this nigga doing. Hey man, just like oh. how you, just how like you for the other ones. This I put him on here solely because of the CJ video. I've never watched the series. I don't really know how diabolical this nigga is. So this is gonna probably be more one-sided because I'm gonna be honest. I'm 
I know that he's devious based off the CJ video, but I've never seen the series, so I don't really know like the context of like like the context context because it could context does matter in certain in certain instances uh compared to just watching a video about a character versus like actually watching the character in the in the show and how it works so mm -hmm. for me just ba if i have the basis just on the video of anos and how it was described to me compared to aaron i might i would pick anos but i'm gonna be honest i know you say crash out moments but let's be really let's be really honest the entirety of season four was crash out Aaron. That was a whole season of him crashing out. The whole season was him crashing Yeah, out. but it was crash out with a purpose. What's like, the he purpose had, Like, he had a whole... Yeah, because he had... Like, because he... Like, didn't he know... Like, he had a plan for everything since um, the end of season three, didn't he? Like, he knew everything that was going on since the end of season three, and that's when he, he started his grand plan and everything that when he went to the whole... Um, to the other um, island and shit and then that's where he started doing shit and that's when he started crashing out but it was like intentional crash out he didn't crash out because he didn't want to the only crash out he, he probably had was with Mikasa at, on the very last episode when he crashed out and let every, like, all of his emotions loose but other than that everything I feel like was intentional like he meant to do that like, when he beat up Armin he meant to do that he, like, he didn't feel right about it but he meant to do that he did that because he had to and I would agree with you on that. Are you talking about you talking about the the anime version of it, right? Yeah. And I will agree with you on that. Not the anime version. I mean the manga version. My bad. Uh, I would agree with you on that. But at the same time, that nigga did literally say, "I didn't really need to have to do all this because nothing changed after he did this because it's the same cycle." And okay, before I say this. Spoiler alert, because I know niggas gonna get mad. Spoilers, you got five seconds to leave. You got 20 seconds. I don't know, however long. You got you got whatever, bro, because I know niggas gonna get mad. Spoilers, spoilers. Look, I'm sorry, bro. Like, it is what it is, bro. I can't, we can't talk about this without spoiling, I guess, technically. But I'm gonna give you some time. This type shit, whatever. You gotta leave, mute, whatever, skip, whatever, do whatever you got. I'm gonna say this, right? I feel like this man, he, I would say, like, intentionally he did have a purpose, but then when that purpose ends up being a purpose that doesn't necessarily amount to nothing, and he's, he, and him himself admitting that he really didn't have to do all this, in my opinion, and then he's just basically, like, killing these, killing 80% of the world, when he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to. I feel like some of that was, like, more of, like, yeah, he, wanted to do that because he was just getting revenge wait question are you saying did aaron um, forbade him say that he didn't have to say that or are you saying that or, or are you saying he didn't have to do it because outcome was the outcome no the uh, i think it was it the okay so i know at the end the manga version versus the anime version is different i think the anime version where he was uh uh having that conversation with armin if i'm if i'm not mistaken i think he did say like like uh, something on the longs the lines of like, uh, uh, <laughs> with a purpose for him to achieve something that's what i mean. okay one thing that i want to mention though we're during the rumbling do you remember the 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 day before the rumbling that he talked to he talked he ran into that kid and he said i'm so sorry for what i'm about to do to you is dad not ignorant though 
he told the kid i'm so sorry what i'm about to do to you and then he proceeds to do the thing and crush the kid just <laughs> like i was so dark bro i was bro that shit i was like bro that shit was very big that <laughs> bro, that was tough that, that was, was I, that wasn't ignorant but i'm just saying i had to, I had to point that out because i'm just like that day yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, about say, that's nearly that's that it's not about but i feel like he was like him just trying to sit like retain some sort of like humanity some sort of like grace for himself like, I, I, nah, I, fuck I, that. I, you're not gonna sit up there and I'm tell a, me i'm gonna shoot, shoot you right in the middle of your head but I, i'm sorry i'm still gonna I kill you but shoot your bitch ass. <laughs> i'm gonna kill yeah, you but like, i just want you to know it's yeah, nothing personal <laughs> You ain't gonna see tomorrow. You're not. You're not gonna see tomorrow. You're not gonna see your mom, your family, your girlfriend. None of that shit. You're, you're about to die today. I'm just I'm sorry. I'm just saying him doing that, and then the scene where he's like killing thousands, of millions of people, but him just like in the clouds, and him having his arm out like that. That that scene. That little that manga when that manga panda first came out, and when they did that in the anime. I'm sorry. That's just like that's just pure like that man was in bliss. He was in heaven, knowing damn well in his mind he's in heaven but down in the reality he's literally crushing everybody on the on like crushing everybody like down there but that's just i'm sorry that's just i'm sorry that's just, that's actually ignorance that was literally a metaphor for ignorance if we're not if i'm not gonna i'm just gonna be honest but that's a metaphor for ignorance bro like that nigga literally just did not care about his surroundings he just did he was just that they're free happy whatever and then he out here just killing niggas just simultaneously like that nigga is just like he was brain dead i ain't gonna lie bro. i don't that scene. that scene always gets me, bro. So we going with Anos then? That's the fire scene. It I, was a fire I'm scene. Still picking Anos, but hey, he's Aaron definitely crash out. I, that's something I'm not gonna disagree. He for sure crash out. I just see Anos is a bit of a crash out and just completely ignorant. Okay. If I, if that definition, then I'm I can only base it off of just the CJ video. I'm just gonna be honest, but I, I think that's enough to you know. I don't even think Aaron's gonna make it that far. Speed this up. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate this website, bro. I it's like they know. They, it's like they're trying to get. It's like they're trying to get the heavy hitters out already, bro. What is this? What is this? Now I know. First and foremost, I know you have this hates i don't okay i'm about to lie i don't think i don't think he actually hates the series but i think i think from just being me on some awesome awesome troll shit i really did i think he hates tokyo avengers i'm gonna you be on a crazy label on me i don't <laughs> hate tokyo avengers i just hate the main character stuff. that's understandable that's understandable now let's be real like like how we had that conversation before of another of the of the uh, you know of mahito are we keeping the same energy? Are you keeping the same energy? I'm keeping the same you're energy. You're bringing him down for it. You're bringing it. You're, you're bringing my Nigga, this is this it. from your favorite series. I, wait, hold on. You're the one that was bringing Mahito down. I wasn't bringing Mahito down. I still, I think Envy's a, 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 a like a complete a, um, ignorant and crash out character. He's complete in that, in that brand. You're, you're, you're about to bring Envy down because Inc of that. But including that last scene, if I'm gonna be honest, yeah, that was some sucker ass shit. <laughs> Thank you. I just want you to acknowledge that at least. It okay. To be fair though, I'm gonna be honest because I know niggas. Not, I know like yes, I I'm not I'm not a fan of Full Metal Alchemist. Just that third, da, 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 whatever. But I cannot lie, that MV scene is one of my favorite scenes from the show. I think it was such a good like. I don't know. I don't know how to explain. It. I feel like it was such a good like. It was a good way to like really like be like not every person is gonna like not every character is gonna be this just gonna die on tens. Some some niggas is just actually yeah. just bitch ass niggas. And he really was just that. Mm -hmm. To the core, if we're gonna be honest. But speaking of bitch ass niggas, Kisuke also a bitch ass nigga too. So it's really just a battle of two bitch ass niggas if we're gonna be honest. What was his reason for doing what he does? If I'm gonna be honest. It's just a dick suck. He has no real reason other than to. Honestly, I think I think if I'm gonna really be honest, I think he and this is just my head cannon. I could be wrong. I think he has some like love interest for Takamichi. If I'm gonna really be honest, I thought it was for his girl. I thought he liked her. I mean, that was the no. It, at first, it was to get to be 
at first it was to it was for uh to basically manipulate mikey and taking over uh the gang which basically he wanted to control mikey and run all the gangs in tokyo that was his initial yeah. uh goal for that and he was he said he would do that by any means because his backstory is so dumb because like the nigga the nigga the nigga wants to, he wants to play gangster basically nigga wants to play gangster he not really on nothing so he's gonna instead manipulate niggas to doing to doing the gangster shit for him and he's just gonna sit in the back you know what he is he's like a he's like he reminds me of man dark from dexter's laboratory i don't know why <laughs> oh my gosh he's just like a little sniveling I hope this nigga Kate, <laughs> it's not but i don't care about this nigga i don't care i don't care honestly i don't care for either of these niggas they're both bitch ass niggas to me but they are also ignorant and crash out because he literally like the man set up the man was setting up niggas i don't know man they're just both bitch ass niggas bro i ain't gonna lie to you i had to you put them on you already know exactly what i'm picking bro honestly i ain't even mad at envy going because i'm gonna be honest i think for the most part for envy to go out the way that he did he still like for the most part did kind of stay on 10 um for the most part i guess he was talking his shit and he can't back it up kisuke talked his shit and he can't back it up because he's a pussy he couldn't fight no me this nigga was this nigga was talking mad shit but couldn't even fight a nigga who literally didn't know how to fight like come on bro and you had the upper yeah, advantage bro. you had the other you had the upper advantage and you still was being pussy and I'll, you know i'm sorry oh, he had a he fooling while he had a gun as well ain't it yeah that's what i'm saying this nigga was talking yeah, bad shit. Yeah, he a sucker. He a bitch. He a pussy. What, he a pussy. Yeah, get this lame man nigga out of here. Nah, yeah, get Kisuke out of here. But this nigga, he really, he he is he is ignorant though. But like, and he be crashing out. But like, he also just a bitch. So I think it just takes it down a lot. Envy at right. least. The main character, bitch. This nigga is hey, obviously bitch. Watch, it watch your mouth. Sense. Watch, watch your mouth. Not too much on Takabichi. Not too much. Man. Stop it, bro. You're not comparing Takabichi. You're not comparing Takamichi to Kisuke, because Takamichi still at the end of the day to me is a real nigga. I don't care what anybody says, bro. Oh, oh my. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Gilgamesh is definitely winning this. I know who I'm picking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gil yeah. Gilgamesh is winning this. I love Zap though. Zap is a crash out, but Same. he's a crash out and he's ignorant, but not on nowhere near any level as Gilgamesh. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. W, w black w black man though i ain't gonna lie to you. w black man i ain't gonna lie oh, w black man <laughs> oh actually oh. no this, this is not really Wait, a oh Shoko? he's from uh psychopaths he's like one of he's known as one of the most like you know when you know the anime niggas they be like oh he's like the most diabolical characters he's usually in on that top list like he's literally like number three or four he's, uh, he's on there like with griffith and shit like that yeah like griffith and uh uh, Johan, Johan, or Johan. Yeah. yeah. Johan, yeah. But I didn't put, I didn't put, I didn't put Johan on this list because I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he's, he's not ignorant. He's not even really a crash out. Like he's just evil. Yeah, he's just evil. He's, he's just evil. He's a yeah. calculated, evil, manipulative nigga. This nigga is also calculative and manipulative, but he does have crash out moments, and he is pretty ignorant because once again, he believes that he can do whatever he wants to do. Do this, that, and the third. Foot Soldier D though, I'm gonna be honest. Out of the new gen anime. If I'm a, or newer, I guess he is a crash out. But he is kind of—he yeah, do be talking his shit though. No, let, let's be real. He do be talking his shit though. Does he not? He do. He do. He ignorant. Not to be fair. He he fits the he fits the description. That's he what I'm saying. Ignorant. He's ignorant and he's a crash and it's justifiable crashing out too. I'm gonna be honest because like, I mean to be fair, he's in a show called Psychopath, so it's like psychopath, psychopath, like. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else. Stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No disrespect to Foot Soldier D. Just like, uh, you know, Hoban. I feel like he honorable mention, if anything, honorable mention. But yeah, Shogo. Yeah, he does. Right, yeah. Right, right. You made the cup. Why? Easy. Bakugo. Yeah. Okay. Now I did specific. I didn't want to do this, but I only did this for Gara because let's be real. Specifically, Kid Gara. Oh my God! Let's be real. My it's my blood. bro, you can't tell me that's that shit was like he crashed the fuck out. <laughs> he was real crashed the fuck out. But this nigga Bakugo crashes out every day. Yeah, 
But it's like, he's a lovable. He's lovable though when he does it though. That's that's my argument. In my opinion. It's the same thing with it's the same thing with like in those games. Like, like, yeah, he's ignorant, but not really, because he is he is aware of like what he's doing, especially when it comes to him and Midori, like his relationship with them. Like, I feel like I, he's he's a nigga that grows like he's he's grown with his ignorance like he's he don't he's not as especially during the like you know obviously the towards the end of the series like he's not he not really like he's not like the ignorance is like not the same in my opinion like he had i feel like he he started gaining respect uh for midoriya like you know too early in my opinion in my opinion I just, for, him to, for him to for him to cut only talk as far as off with Asta's midway through. Yeah. And at the end of season three, when this nigga pulls up to Midori and saying, nigga, let's park. And this nigga Midori didn't want to. There That's was true. no real need to. This That's nigga, true. My own pride, nigga. I want to box, nigga. But my pride is being part of the Oh my god, nigga. Yeah. Box, nigga. Yeah. That's true. And this nigga gets packed the fuck up. I mean, not packed. He, he parked. He, he was boxing. He was boxing. He gets right. That was a hood nigga moment. I ain't gonna lie just, to you. Just for shit. That was a nigga That's moment. Man, like, this nigga. That's the, that's the nigga ignorant. But to be fair, let's be honest, Gar literally, Gar literally perpetually killed a nigga just for no reason. A nigga show, a nigga, sh Kid Gar literally, let's not forget, right? Let's not forget. This nigga Gar was chilling on top of a damn, <laughs> of a damn fucking roof and had multiple shinobis press him and killed all of them. Damn, after his last thing. Fuck. That's. That's ignorant. Well, if a nigga's coming off to you, if it, well, well, hold on. If a nigga's coming off to your life, you nigga. Okay. Oh, kill that. I, under what? I understand though, but the nigga, the, 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 but the nigga literally said he killed th two of them and the last nigga begged him not to do that and he still killed him anyway. How the fuck no, nigga? Die, nigga. You came for my life. I'll take your and I, I understand. You, put, uh, you you pulled out the gun. You best be ready to have that gun flip back on your fucking mm. hot dome, nigga. Fuck? I respect that. I respect that. What you talking about? I respect that. But let's not also act like he's still on business. That's what I'm seeing. He did see this nigga going to stand on business. He stand on business, but let's not also act like when that nigga when that nigga Rock Lee was giving in the the hands, and you know what I'm saying? Like he did not respect Rock Lee when he got back up. He was trying to kill that man. Cause he got he got hit he got touched one time. That's ignorance. When that nigga, when that nigga, when he when he packed up Rocky and then Rocky was um, trying to pull away, and then he was like, oh yeah, no, the, the fight's finished. Oh no, no, we ain't done. And yeah, then he broke his hand and his leg. Yeah, that's that what I'm saying. That shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that ignorance. That was literally because he didn't have to that's, do that. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. That's he did not right have there. to do that. That shit was crazy. That he didn't have to do. And on top of that, and this from dead, that's based on about to crash out. Yeah, that's true. And then let's let's not also act like uh, uh, Tamari and uh, Conqueror was literally like they cannot tell that man nothing. He was not hearing it. Like they was literally scared of this man. This is this, this is ooh, ooh, this is their ooh. older brother and sister. You called yourself. You know why? Why? Because you only said Kid Gara. Because this nigga has so much character growth at that at the end at the end of part one. How do I hold myself? That's why I said only kid guard. That's why I didn't, I didn't include the growth. Oh, at the end of part one, kid, um, Naruto, while he's still a kid, he has so much character. Like this nigga pretty much basically flips the script. They, this nigga fighting with Barkley saying, "Oh, and I respect Naruto and everything." Like, and, okay. nah, this nigga flips the flip script pretty much completely, bro. Okay, but to be fair, that's what he should have. You should have literally just said tune in exam, Gara. No, nah, because then that's just too specific. To dead, then, like, that's too specific, I'm though. Sick kid Gar. Okay, but like, but to be fair though, he was like, that was like a whole like. Okay, I mean, he was already about to become a Hokage. At this point, like he was already like he was already joning level at this point. Like the nigga was a little bit more mature. Like I guess it's still part one Naruto. I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's literally part one. Like. It, Especially because the and this is the only reason why I'm saying that is because you said for Bakugo he started liking Mandario too early. Because you said that, I would I would have brought up um, the fact that this nigga started like liking Naruto and everything. Yeah, but that yeah, was literally towards 
that's literally towards the tail end of the series like he liked him he started to it, like he, okay real talk if we're gonna really be honest to, to, to for the guideline shit i think he had he started having more respect for midoriya during the airy like situation which was what season three in the for the anime wise like type shit like they're still like we i feel like that's that's like that's that's half the series versus like the tail end of the series because i don't think gara really got that way until like during the filler arcs for them if i'm gonna be if we're gonna really be honest like type shit. yeah you could say maybe uh the sound four arc was where he the end of the fight no he was like, he started getting gara started getting respect for naruto after that that big kaiju fight uh, really though i feel like he, he started still... getting like, he started getting respect if you're saying like oh, I, can I can see the heel turn i can see the heel turn again yeah that's literally yeah literally. the heel turn was literally at the end of the i can see that i can see that now it's a hit with the total gc and then i like, got into this nigga's feelings got into his head and then like that. And yeah all right then if we're doing that i don't know man i'm just, at this it's point your argument. but my thing is like yeah but my thing is like like what bakugo get did compared to what gara did because this nigga I don't think Bakugo has no bodies. Gara has body, bodies as a child. Like he was Bro, demonic on, as a child. Come on. That's not, that's not, an, that's not. A, Bro, Inosuke doesn't have bodies, bro. He's still ignorant and crash out. Well, we don't know about that. Like, that, 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 bodies doesn't describe you being an ignorant character. That's just your anime. That's just but that's anime, a crash bro. out, though. Oh, you know what? I, I guess. But that's he, not just it. That's your anime, bro. That's literally just your anime. That niggas don't like heroes don't be killing people in my hero, bro. They expect one of their hero, one of their like growing heroes to be have, to have bodies broken. I guess. I mean, to be fair, I also had to remember that time where uh, all for one tried to flip Bakugo to the evil side, and he said, "No, nigga, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna be a hero." And niggas thought he was a villain. He did stand on ten on that one. He was pretty ignorant on that. He said, "I'm, I, I might, I might be this way, but I am, a, I'm still a hero." Yeah, and I, I ain't gonna lie. I have to give him that one as well. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. There you go. There you go. I just feel I, like it's crazy how you're making me fight for him. It's crazy how you're making me fight for my hero. Cause I think, but, but my thing is like, I think just kick guard like everything that we've seen from those like, he was just demonic though. Like he was just like, he just had that yeah, aura about it. Yeah, but my thing is like. It, I'm sorry. I really have to say that the bodies have to count, though. The bodies have to count because he disrespected. He disres because he disrespected. Uh, he disrespected multiple Jonies. He disrespected. And uh, he disrespected multiple. Like he did not give a fuck about nobody's life during the uh the first part of the or the second part of the exam when they were in the forest. He just didn't care. Like he was just doing whatever he wanted. He he had to or he pressed niggas. Niggas was not trying to challenge him. Niggas was scared of him. Like I'm just like I'm just thinking about like all the shit that he did during those like the exam part. Like I'm just like he was just he was just a different. He was literally the main villain before we found out, you know, Orochimaru was actually the real main villain. But like he was literally the the villain, bro. Like let's be honest. This little kid was the villain. He, Niggas had it. Niggas, no, 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 no. See, no, 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 no. Cause I have to say this. This niggas had flyers. And niggas literally told. Niggas literally told Naruto and every, all the all the like ninjas stay away from that nigga. Stay stay away from that man. You gotta stay away from that nigga. Niggas told him that like when the nigga Gara pull up, stay away from that man. Niggas had niggas was scared from him off rip. That nigga pulled up. That nigga Sasuke got scared when that nigga Gara pulled up on it on him with the uh with the umbrella and shit. Nah, that shit. Nah, nah, bro, stop, bro. That nigga pulled up with hey. the umbrella and pressed Sasuke. Sasuke, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hey, man. As much as he's a villain. By the end of part one, this nigga's the whole Kage protecting everyone. Oh my Naruto's God. my best friend. As much as he's a villain, he becomes so much of a hero. That, like the same way, just like it kind of balances itself out, bro. But my thing it is like, the, like at least with Bakugo, like he he stays big. He's like the thing is that why I I pick Bakugo is because he like you don't change his ignorance. Like, but um, Gaara's ignorance was changed. Like he's not ignorant no more. Like he, you can't change it. Only Bakugo's one just gets a little bit watered down. This nigga's still the same nigga though. Okay. He's still ignorant as fuck and he still crashes out. Type shit. Okay, so here's my but thing. Gawa, he's literally just a. He's just. A, he's just like Gawa's just a problem. Gawa's literally just yeah. a problem. Like you wanna call Roshimaru an ignorant nigga? He's he's just a problem. He's literally just a problem. You wanna call Mado? But um, I stay away from Mado. He, he's a, he's just a problem. He's not. He's not really ignorant. Okay. He has ignorant moments, 
but and he has definitely has crash at moment but he's just a problem that's why you stayed away from this nigga because it's not it's not like he, oh yeah he's just like, ignorant he's just gonna kill you um, kill you shit he's, he's just a problem type shit especially if you come from this nigga now hell not this nigga gonna let you survive nigga I I'm got gonna send your will to your kid yeah yeah I just have two things to what? say what you said I just have two things to say. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pose one question, and I'm just gonna re- remind you one more thing because I totally forgot about this. But do you remember in the exam where they were like, uh, I think they came in contact when they were trying to get the scrolls, and he came in contact with those uh, sound niggas. I think it was it the sound or rain niggas, and the nigga gave him the scroll right because they were scared of him. And he still did the sand coffin jutsu on this nigga just because he wanted to kill him because he had to feed his thirst for blood. Is that not ignorance? Bakugo would never do that. Alright, my like, say- you're, like what you're arguing is like their character types at this point. I you're not you're not arguing the same thing that you're not arguing the thing that they both got in common, which is their ignorant and crash up. If them being an ignorant or crash out character, you're arguing that they're, they're different types of characters because one's a hero and one's literally uh, the antagonist of the series. But I, I'd expect Gara to part things, especially in the show, like um, in Nar- Naruto, compared to my hero, where this nigga is literally a hero and trade. Tra- tra- Alright, well, I mean, I guess that negates my second question then. Alright, I guess we'll pick up Bakugo then. You got me. You sold me. You was riding hey. hard for Bakugo. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh. I, I didn't even want to. You. You did though. That was that was like damn, bro. This is crazy. It's like, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> my hero fan. My bad. Anyways. Oh. Yuck. I don't know. How you feel about this one? I was debating. It's probably gonna be a similar argument to the previous one. Really? Yeah. Not 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 entirely because Gara and Barn are, are, are different characters. Yeah. But I, who I'm swaying towards is Villain. Because I, she's I, legit, yeah. really ignorant. I just crashed her everywhere. And but, she just be a whole niggas. But. Just whole niggas because she's hungry. But. Just like how you said for one character, this is. These, just like how you said for Aaron, I say the same for Millen because it's, it's, it's warranted and she has a reason, my opinion. That's how she was birthed, mm-hmm. right? Because her parents, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? She saw her brother. She wanted, you know, somebody had to control that shit. Like, I feel like, I don't feel like this was, because w- this wasn't her initial character. She became this way. You know what I'm saying? She became this way. I don't think she was always an ignorant, crash out character, in my opinion. I mean, I'm, 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 at that point, it's like, what, what, what do we argue? Because it's like, well, that's her now. Okay. Well, you know, it's just like, I, I can't really, I can't really, like, argue with someone that was good before, but they're crash out now. No, nigga, you're crash out now. Like, with Aaron, it's like, he was, a, to be honest with you, Nick, season one to three, Aaron was just an ignorant crash out. And then season four was him just really just crashing out. He was less ignorant. He's showing his he was just colors. being ignorant. Huh? He just he, he just said he was just free balling. He was just that was it. He was done for. It. Yeah, it was like he was just he was just kind of just balling out. Okay, so but with Millen, I, I feel like she was good. I, I remember she was like good. She was meek and everything. And then whatever happens happens, and then she becomes who she is. Yeah. And then she just does something. She just and it's not really like in a in an evil way. She just. She's just ignorant to everyone around her. She's just powerful. She just took, she thinks she's the shit and everything. And then she just be holding the fuck out of niggas, bro. And again, so she's hungry. She's gonna she's gonna travel. She's gonna hold her civilization, her the people that follow her to go to Rimuru's place just because. Oh yeah, I want to see what they got going on. Oh my see, fuck who they're fighting. Because remember when her 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 um her followers got pulled up on by um what's that um that one demon lord's um followers and then had um. Benny Mara and them had to save their ass because Millen wasn't there, and then yeah, beca- and she and she wasn't there because she she because she crashed out on one of the demon lords and then she got her mind control. Yeah, yeah. Like she she 
that uh, should be gushing out. But I will say though, Remaru did hit her with the talk no jutsu, so I don't think she's like as ignorant during that. Like that was probably her peak of her ignorance to me personally. Cause I feel like I feel like Remaru kind of calmed her down a little bit. Like she's not really like she's more she was crashing out just to crash out. Now I feel like she's only crashing out for Remaru. If I'm gonna be honest. If Remu said to do this, I feel like she's doing that because that they're friends or best of friends type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel yeah, like yeah. I feel like for I feel like for Bond, like that nigga, he don't give a fuck about what anybody got going on. He gonna respect his captain Meliodas, and he know what Meliodas is capable of. But when that nigga had to fight Meliodas because he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like Bond. I don't think Bond's gonna make it that far, so I don't wanna really argue for him, but I feel like I had to put him up there because like it's just maybe it's just an aura. Maybe he just has that aura like I don't give a fuck about what any nigga got going on. He didn't care how strong that man Meliodas was, he don't care how broken that man was. I'm still going to fight this nigga because I'm still gonna stand on 10. You may be my captain, but nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm still gonna be me. I feel like and I don't know. I just I don't know, bro. I'm still okay, I'm gonna pick Millen, but I just had to put that out there, bro. I had to. I had to. I bro. feel it. I fuck with Ben. I fuck with yeah. I feel like I don't feel like he gets that. Maybe I'll, you know. Now that I think about it, I don't really think he has that crash out label though, like that. Like now that I think about yeah. it, I'm if I'm gonna really be honest. If I'm gonna be honest, yeah. Let's let's just go with Millen. I thought it was gonna be more of an argument, but oh, damn. I mean, yeah, I you know. know I haven't seen. I yeah, know. but it's like yeah, I know. Do, do, yeah. this argument do I? No, you don't have to argue. <laughs> Take your hate. This is debatable. This is debatable. You said this is debatable. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm interested. Who are you picking? Oh for one. My heart goes to Doflamingo. It's just that I'm trying to remember what I do know about Oh for one, and what I, what I vaguely do remember. I know is that he's just purely all. He's a selfish ass, whole ass nigga. That's literally ignorant and like yeah. his ignorance level i would yeah. probably say he's on the same level as Do um, doflamingo i yeah. just don't know how many i just don't know about his crash out level i don't know what his crash out more i know dolphin's crash out <laughs> i know yeah. dolphin's crash out i think i just don't know over what i think i think what's gonna come down to is the crash out moments because i'm gonna be honest i don't think all for one is a crash out except for like literally the very end but at that point that's just the end of the manga like you know what i'm saying because that's where yeah that's like at that point it's like okay that's just literally just one moment where he just crashes out Dolphamingo does crash out yeah. a lot and now i'm trying to think of like how much we're going to gauge the ignorance versus the crash out because that's this really what it is because all for one is probably way more in my opinion he's probably more ignorant than Dolphamingo, not by too much but he's a little bit more ignorant than Dolphamingo. but Dolphamingo is ignorant and he has crash out he's a crash out one, one, one for all is not really a crash out because he's too calculated, he's too meticulous, he's too nonchalant, he's too chill. He's not crashing out on anything. Yeah. So that's where that's where it really is the argument lies. Like, is this all for one's ignorance going to carry him that much more than a nigga that has ignorance and crash out and tendencies? That's the argument here. Not for me. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to pick off Flamingo too. Yeah, that nigga Dolphy. You seen that CJ video, right? Yeah, I have. But fuck, minus minus the CJ video. My just watching him, watching you know Dress Rosa, just watching all that shit, just remembering what the man do and the man what he's going to probably do. Um, he just this is the smile. Yeah, I just meant as like a recap. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. CJ, the CJ, the CJ video definitely just like puts the nail on the. Yeah, he solidified his Literally. ignorance. But like all for oh, one. To be fair, that all for one picture, he's looking. He's literally looking at. I'm pointing at this nigga that he's just about to hold. Like you right there. I'm about to hold. You. He he really he is just the epitome of a whole ass nigga. This nigga gets into your head. He talks shit. He's ignorant in the fact of like, you know, like when Michael Jordan be playing basketball, he be talking shit while he playing basketball and still gonna beat you. That's basically all for one. Yeah. That's literally. That's literally. He's I like. He's like. He's like Michael Jordan, Kobe. He's like, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna drive on you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk shit. Your mother's trash. Your mother sucked my dick last night, and I'm still gonna beat your ass. And he's gonna do that. And he's gonna tell you exactly. That's what he. That's what he is, though. That's literally what he tells you, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like he's like, bro, I'm gonna like I'm gonna fuck your moms, and I'm gonna hit you with the left and the right. I'm still gonna jab on you. I'm still gonna hit you with the layup, and that's what I'm gonna do. And he does it. And he's gonna tell you he still does it. And he so and it works out, bro. My only thing with all for one. And taking my hate out of him and why everybody doesn't like doesn't like him because of the whole all for one shiggy shit. 
taking that out of the side, I will say, if we're basing this on ignorance, I'm going to go for all for one. If I'm basing this off a of crash out, I'm going for a Dolphamingo. Um, that man often wants to literally just be talking shit just for just just because he wants to. It's just, it, it is just annoying. It's an, it's like you know this that that just that one nigga that you just hate when he just talks shit because it's like you just don't want you like you just hate that nigga that just talks shit. That's just him. Like he like mm. like it's like it's like it's. Like, <laughs> It's just annoying, like like when niggas, most niggas talk shit. It's like okay, you're okay with. It. He's just he's just a hateable nigga, like especially when he talks shit. He, especially when he talks shit, it's like bro, you're just like just like ugh, I just want you to. I'm praying on your downfall. That's what I feel. That's what I feel like when it's for all for one. I'm praying on. I'm glad for his downfall. I'm I'm not praying for Dolphamingo's downfall. Like I just like I want Dolphamingo to succeed. I wanted I wanted that nigga to do whatever he wanted to do. I I'm glad that he killed his dad. I'm glad that you don't. I'm, I'm not glad that he killed uh, what you call it uh, his brother. I'm not glad that. But I'm glad that he did what he did, bro. He wasn't up. Well, but what is it? Corazon, right? Corazon, whatever that nigga name was. Yeah. He didn't have to do that to his brother. That He's was an insane. informant. Uh, he was okay. an informant, though. Uh, come on, but come on, but come on. Like, my nigga, if you're in the mafia and then your brother's an informant, what are you about to do? He was helping, a, but like, if you're the mob boss, nigga, but he's a good guy. <laughs> he can't he's be a guy to us. To he's us. a good guy. Look, guy. Uh, if you're the mob, if you're the mob boss, and your brother's a snitch, rata, yeah, snitch, honestly, snitch. I, yeah, I, I guess, but go. I like. He didn't have to kill the nigga though, especially when you're trying to protect the nigga that literally is on his a kid that's on his deathbed. He didn't have to do that. That's his ignorance talking though. That's his ignorance talking. But I'm just that's like, his I'm about to say that's his ignorance talking. But man. you didn't have to do it though. That's my thing. Like, <laughs> you did have but, to. Hey, it is what it is. Ignorance, <laughs> ignorance. I ain't gonna lie to you. All for one is very ignorant, but he has no crash out. So I think, I think just off that, I'm gonna have to go with Dolphy because I think it's just gonna be more exciting with Dolphy because. I just don't like all for one. Yeah. He's a bitch ass nigga. You know, Marek? I don't even know who Rip is, to be honest. I haven't finished his anime. Oh. I don't even know. Okay. It is Merrick, but I had to put Rip on there because he is a crash out. Like, literally, that's his whole, basically his whole power, honestly. It's based on, like, how close to death that he can get, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. So, like, I don't know how else. I don't know. He's a wild boy. No, no, no. MGK. He's a wild boy. Like, but Merrick. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This wasn't even fair. This wasn't even fair.